will it be possible to save the monuments in Ukraine? Uh, yes, it will be possible, but not uh, during the war. After the war will finish, uh, we will start some major reconstruction projects uh, in that regions that suffered the most. There are a lot of buildings uh, that have been destroyed uh, and uh, um, the specialists in that sphere, they uh, have already made some calculations of the amount of the destroyed buildings. Um, personally, me, uh, I'm not acquainted with the uh, precise uh, numbers of these buildings. Uh, and. Uh, I think uh, it will grow because uh, the war is still going on and there will be more, more such buildings that will need to reconstruct, to be reconstructed. Today there are a lot of um, measures uh, made uh, to protect the existing uh, heritage, um, the uh, architectural monuments and also sculptures in the city. For example, in Lviv, um, there have been a lot of made in that direction. Uh, the, uh, some of the architectural uh, monuments, uh, uh, for example, uh, the um, colorful windows were um, uh, saved uh, with some uh, constructions uh, uh, in order not to be damaged during the bombing or some rocket attacks and also some very precious uh, sculptures in the city center near the Rinox, uh, on the Rinox Square were also protected by some uh, constructions and uh, also there was a lot of uh, help from our Western partners um, uh, helping with the materials and technologies uh, of uh, uh, protecting the uh, existing uh, monuments from possible damages. The biggest challenge is uh, uh, we will need uh, a lot of uh, funding for that because it's uh, a very um, precious uh, works and also we will need uh, uh, the um, uh, experience of our uh, maybe Western colleagues uh, uh, with some uh, new uh, technologies uh, and also uh, ecologically safe technologies uh, um, that we can use for the reconstruction works.